We've been extra busy this week, so here's just a quick update on some of it. I treated myself to a brand new blade for the bandsaw because I need to rip down lots of 3x2 spruce lengths. And started the old engine for the first time in weeks and it started first time. Sometimes this engine powers the giant wheel, and sometimes the wood chipper, and sometimes it powers the bandsaw. Which makes it sound a bit random, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I wonder what will start spinning this time if I pull the lever. But it's not quite like that. I just have to put the correct belt onto the pulleys first, obviously. I start the saw with the blade slightly slack, and then tighten it whilst it's spinning. 150 year old saw running sweetly, but will it cut? Ooh, yes. Look, we seem to be breeding long-necked sheep. Right, yes, good, but why am I ripping down perfectly good 3 by 2s Well, you have to look through the louvers in this wall that we built in the winter. All dark and mysterious. The timber is part of the garlic drying racks, and I need lots of them. I had hoped to get the railway extended in time for this year's harvest, as you know, but things didn't work out like that. We had the hottest June in recorded history, and that meant that the garlic was ready earlier than ever. A whole two weeks earlier than we've ever started. Which is a pretty ominous sign of the times, don't you think? The plan now is to get the railway done in time for the planting season, which will start in six weeks or so. So we're doing it the old fashioned way with wheelbarrows and it's all coming in with lots of help. Nearly 10,000 bulbs needed to be racked so it dries properly. Some of it is much smaller than usual too, which makes sense because it was dry as well as hot. But um, there should be plenty of the good size ones too. So far, the louvers seem to be doing a good job because they allow the air in but keep the rain out. Nice and simple. <laughs> 